Hello everyone. This is the Tarot Queen Jamila here to do a <clears throat> here to do the love forecast for the Leo for the month of May 2016. This is going to be a six card spread. Um, if you do want a more personalized reading, the link to my website is in the video description box. So um, this is a six card spread that I found. Um, it's going to look at what actions you need to take, like what you need to be doing right now. And also um, any sexual connection, any emotional connection, like what that is. Um, also the external influences on the relationship. Um, is this person long term and then you'll have a final outcome card so this is a six card spread for the leo for the month of may 2016 okay sorry i'm late make sure that you subscribe for the 3,000 subscriber giveaway um there's going to be another <clears throat> giveaway when i reach 4,000. so make sure that you're a subscriber also thumbs up this video for the new format so you'll be able to see the cards, guys, because I'm just, I'd rather do voiceover. So, sorry. So card number one, again, um, and just to let you know, card number one is what your subconscious is telling you. So this is something you're not aware of, and you did get the temperance card. So this is a major arcana it's so obvious temperance is saying be patient so you're waiting on something for temperance to come up uh leo um she's an angel and what she's doing is she's making these two energies mix together and you know mix mixing together in harmony so this is a really peaceful card um it shows a, a relationship that has a lot of harmony in it. And um, there's a little bit else I want to tell you about this as far as... Um, temperance, I'm sorry guys. I would say with temperance that this is um, really, I'm seeing a lot of healing within this temperance card. A lot of healing of the nervous system for a lot of you Leos. It seems like there's been a rough period <clears throat> within that card. So um, card number two is your sexual connection with this person. Now, if you are single, temperance is saying be patient. This is your month, okay? Um, your sexual connection with this person is the Two of Swords. So, this is a really good balance um, of energies. And it's also about the way that you perceive the other person. So, you've got a really good balanced perception of one another. I'd say sexually with the two of swords coming up, there's a lot of um, give and take. There's a lot of mutual, you know what I mean? So if you, you know, you guys, I, I don't know, like the, if, so if you have not met anybody yet this month, I'm seeing that, you know, the sexual connection is going to be, um, there's probably going to be kind of, I would say maybe a power play or a power dynamic within there or a power exchange. But other than that, being that it's the two is a really good sign. So the sword suit is about perception and intelligence. So the two of swords is um, you know, having balanced powers between the two of you. So you're able to...
It's almost like you're able to, you know, have as much of a mental impact on each other, you know. So it's, it, it just really shows a balance, which is a really good thing. Um, your emotional connection. Now, if you're already involved with someone, I'm sorry. So if you're single, you know, and I'd say that's the answer for both, you know, that's the connection that you'll have with them is it's some sort of like um, power play. Um, and then the emotional connection, you got the three of wands, and that's a really good card. This is a card based upon trust and creation and um, having trust in the and having trust in, in the universe. Also another, you know, this person is anxiously awaiting. Um, if you look at the illustration of the three of wands, it's somebody waiting the rewards of something they've been working on. And so this is also a reflection. So, you know, this is you getting a return on what you've been working on. Um, it's also, you know, this is an expectant mother, um, Leo's in this card. So, um, you know, it seems like you, um, also have like an emotional connection that has a really stable foundation. Also, there's a lot of energy because it involves creation and growth of a new life. So some of you Leos, you know, you may, you uh, probably are thinking about having a child right now. And the emotional connection is, you know, what kind of energy do, do you feel between the two of you and you feel very positive energy with the three of wands it is a really good card and it's also um you can tell that you're excited and you're motivated it's just a really good thing now external influences oh good you got the nine of cups so this is um a really powerful energy um almost a, a a fulfillment of emotional growth as well so there's been <clears throat> a growing process for you and your partner um, if you have not met someone it looks as if you are still if you are single still and not involved with someone um, the nine of cups is, is the is the card of wishes so it looks like your influences are really um, sort of this magical influence around you that's leading you to it so this is a really positive card um is it long term you got the seven of cups so i would say that would say yes and the reason why is because of the um uh lucky number seven again now with the seven of cups, you know, this is about emotional, the growth of your emotional journey, using your imagination, daydreaming, having thoughts, of, you know, or fantasies. So you're definitely fantasizing about it being long term, but what are you going to do to make it long term? You need to be a little bit clear about, you know, your picture so that you can go ahead and manifest it, you know. It's kind of too many choices. No, you might have a little too much on your plate. But as far as the question, is it long term? You know, is it just for fun? Um, and I would say with the Seven of Cups, you know that that would be a yes for that card because I I see this card as being a very a very positive card. Um, you know, sometimes it can be about making a decision or contemplating on something, but you still have a lot of choices that you're making a decision from. And it could be confusing decisions, wishful thinking for some of you Leos. 
okay? It can also be um, some sort of temptation due to a lack of morality. Um, this could be either you or your partner. This card is also, also to remind you um, to just make sure that you um, don't make poor don't make poor choices. Now, if this card does mean you you're going to receive a surprising reward for your usual mental and creative abilities. So, I mean, this card is a catch 22. Um also another thing is that there's some conflicting interests. Okay, just make sure that you don't have uh, that you don't waste your energy, your emotional energy on something that isn't important. Also, don't let people mislead you. You know, and just make sure you stick to your goals. Um, your last card is the outcome card. And you did get the tower. So I'm really excited about this tower card. Um, there's going to be some major changes. Um, as an as a result, you know, there's gonna. I mean, as you can see by the illustration, this is a very quick change that you can't help. So, um, I'd say, so judging by the surrounding cards, you know, whatever conflicting interests, especially with the Seven of Cups that you have, if you have it. Um, you know, a lot of the false structures that you're dealing with within your relationship that's kind of holding it back is going to get broken down so that it can get built back up. For some of you Leos, you're going to be letting go um, of someone, possibly. Um, the Tower card could signify the end of a relationship. So some of you might end some sort of relationship that could be causing the confusion. The confusion. You know, again, the Seven of Cups can indicate confusion. <clears throat> and it is in the position of if this person is long term. Well, I want to say yes and no. But I think you're going to have some, some confusion about that. And I think with this tower card, a lot of that confusion is going to get uh, broken down, okay? Um, if you enjoyed this reading, come to me for a personal reading. Link is in the video description box to my website. And thank you so much for watching. And make sure that you thumbs up this video. Thank. All right, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.